Hey, Eric here from Games for Hyper, and today I want to show you a quick dev log of things that I've been working on. We have been working on a lot of things in the past, but uh, and I've not made any dev logs, so I aim to publish a dev log once a week for the upcoming months for sure. So I'm just going to try to show you a couple of things, and for this one, I want to show you my uh, cave uh, generation system. Obviously, it's not finished at all. It's just work in progress. But basically, what I'm trying to do is to find a way to be able to build uh, cave systems um, really easy. Um, I don't aim to do this procedurally. I think we can with this system. However, I don't think that's really needed. I'm more thinking of like if you want to make a cave, for instance, like for Skyrim or a uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, these are not procedurally generated, but manually placed. And I'm trying to find a tool set for that that fits to make sure that we can quickly make something like that. So I was thinking, let us make a couple of tunnels because the tunnels will be the base. So one of four meters, one of eight meters, and one of 12 meters. And these tunnels I'm going to use in splines. Let me show you these tunnels real quickly. A lot of errors, by the way. Don't mind them. So, oh. Playing with two clients right now. That's not needed. But. So this is like the, the small version. And I'm just using the rocks uh, for the sides and the roof. And I'm blocking uh, lightning, uh, lightning bleeds with, this, uh, with these panels. And I'm trying to fit them as much as possible in one line. So uh, when we use it in the spine, we don't have too much deviations. And obviously I also have this medium tunnel and this large tunnel. And as you can see in this medium tunnel, I'm trying to experiment a bit with uh, trying to place some rocks in the ground, eventually probably with PCG, but that's something I've still not decided yet. But based on that, I and making splines so we can actually uh, generate them like this oh which looks really cool in my opinion and also for the medium ones and also for the large ones so yeah i think that's a really helpful toolkit but now something cool when we click on a spline let us click on this one uh, let's open up the detail panels here I have created um, variables which we can use to spawn things. So it says room to spawn, uh, like uh, we have a small room, a large and a medium room, or I also want to be able to place caps and caps are more uh, to close things off. And we can click on add a cap in the end. So that's this one. So now if we look here, it's closed. And we can also press add cap at the start. Nice. So basically what it does is only spawns a, a new blueprint actor. But we can also say add a room and let's add a room to the end. Uh, and this is where the magic happens because a room can have multiple connection points. And this specific room has three connection points. So there's one here, one there, and one there. And you want to be able to place it precisely on the point of uh, one of these three. So I made an option here in the details panel, spawn a disconnection point, and when you deviate from these points, then it will choose one of these points to connect to. Um, so let's try another one, details panel. Let's add a room medium. And when we click edit at connection point zero at room at the end. Ah, this one I already placed a couple of numbers so you know which point it is. So this is uh, point, connection point one, connection point three, uh, connection point two. And where you also see these arrows. And now you see this one is very nicely connected, which looks cool. And this is like a medium sized room. And this medium sized room, we can click again and here on the details panel, 
on the room we can say hey i want to add a spline at point um at point two well that's probably index one in my example at spline yeah boom so now it generated this probably medium tunnel and we can just switch the tunnel so now it says oh, uh, spawn spline medium but i could all say spawn spline large boom so that's the large one and we can also spawn the small one yes it's like this and this one will have these connection points and uh, these are the ones that we can uh, tweak uh, Like so, which is really cool in my opinion. It's good to know that uh, these splines are really not performant in editor. Obviously, it's performant when uh, when you just play. But uh, I disabled collision while we are editing the spline, and then we have this button to enable the collision on the generated spline. Also for this one, enable collision, and now we can actually play, and then it will. Uh, probably has collision it's not optimized ah, this one doesn't but this one probably has yeah and then we can walk around look at these rooms and does this one has collision yeah okay nice this one does ah, it doesn't has camera collision but yeah things like this um I think will really eventually help to be able to build uh, cave systems really quickly. Obviously, I'm working on a couple of things like uh, fire, lightning placement. Uh, I have large rooms. I have, uh, I'm making modular roofs. I'm trying to experiment with um, PCG to be able to place things like uh, these rocks on the ground or things like that. So yeah, I'm just excited to do this and I think uh, the results will actually be uh, quite okay uh, as you can already see the, the visuals of these caves i i love it this ambience is yeah i like it and obviously we can place some rocks on the ground maybe some moss on the on, on the top things like that if you have any tips please let me know uh, this just work in progress still a lot to do but now you get a basic idea of what i'm trying to achieve Hope you have a great day. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, uh, always feel free to reach out. For instance, in the comments below, via Discord or mail. And don't forget to check out our website and Discord. I'm happy to talk to you there. Have a nice day. Bye.